guys, I am back, and dude, I got this tank top yesterday, and I love it, it is me. It says, I hate everyone and pants, and I really hate pants. All my friends know how much I complain about wearing pants, so yeah, so I was tank top, had to get it. I love it, and it's so comfortable, and it's one of those, like, really cut ones, and they're just comfy. Anyways, let's get started. I'm here with another book talk, and this book talk is about Perfect Chemistry by Simone El. Achilles? I don't know how to say your last name. I'm just guessing. I have had this book sitting on my shelf for like 10,000 years. Picked it up because I kind of liked the cover and the back sounded interesting. And I finally got around to reading it after forever. And I really have not heard that much about this book or series or even this. I've never heard of this author actually. <sighs> but yeah, so this book is about a girl and a boy in high school. And the girl, Brittany, is the captain of the Palm Squad. And the boy, Alex, is a Mexican gangster. Yay. You know, bad boy, good girl. That sounded interesting. Sounded like something I would read whenever I bought this and whatever. So I read it. And... Yeah. There's things to say about this book. Let's, let's just start with the characters. Overall, the main two characters are unrealistically attractive. Like, Brittany is tiny, she's got big boobs, and she's got curly, pretty blonde hair. She's got these bright blue eyes, and she's gorgeous, and all the guys want her. And then you have Alex, who's a tough, bad A gangster, and he's built, and he's tatted, and he's got washboard abs, and he's just so attractive. People aren't that attractive in high school, guys. Let's throw something in there that makes it more realistic other than they're the perfect looking people because when you do that, they're not very relatable. I mean, they do have things going on in their lives that make them more relatable, but the fact that they're like so attractive and like perfect, it's not, it's not okay. I don't, I don't enjoy that. I'd rather like give them something that's like realistic and maybe not everybody finds attractive. The fact that they were so unrealistically attractive, it just, it hurt. And also, the fact that these characters are stereotypical. They are so stereotypical. Brittany, captain of the Palm Squad. She's blonde. She has blue eyes. She's dating the star of the football team. How much more stereotypical can you get with her? And then Alex is the bad A gangster that everybody stays away from but everybody wants a piece of because he's the bad guy and everybody finds bad boys really really attractive stop with the stereotypes it's really annoying and then on top of that I found Brittany extremely annoying I did not like her I felt sorry for her because her life she had issues in her life yes but she was just so annoying I didn't like her at all it's just I couldn't stand her and I think the only reason I didn't put this book down is because it was in dual perspectives from both Alex and Brittany. And I enjoyed Alex's scenes. I enjoyed Alex. I think he's really funny. Um, yeah, I, I'd probably go for Alex too, to be honest, if I was Brittany. Also, let's talk about this cover. Like, what is this? What is this? Like, you can see he's like, if they're supposed to be perfect, then why is he, you can see, like, his, his, like, leftover hair right here? Like, you should be clean-shaven for the cover. Or is that just me? I don't know. I'm just weird. Then again, I don't like facial hair. So that might be why I have an issue with this cover, because I don't like facial hair. Another problem I have with this book is, um, the reference to, is the Palm Squad. Palm Squad, for those of you who don't know, is a version of a dance team, and all they do is palms. So they dance around with little pom-poms like cheerleaders use, except we're not cheerleaders, we're dancers. Not cheerleaders! See something with pom-poms. Do not automatically assume they are cheerleaders. I'm sorry, but that annoys the crap out of me when people call me a cheerleader. I'm not a cheerleader, I am a dancer. Get your facts straight. Um, I have a problem with this because they refer to it as the pom-pom squad. What is that? Like, I'm not on the Palm Squad because down here in the South, we have what are called drill teams, which we, like, they do, we do perform at halftime at the football games, and we wear, like, 
I don't want to explain it, like uniforms, and then we wear boots that kind of look like cowboy boots. They, they look like this. This is what we dance around on the field in, and we wear hats that look like cowboy hats. Wow, these are dirty. Yeah, we use palms, and then after football season's over, we go into contest season, and we do a palm routine from... That's, I don't know, and palm squads just do palm routines all the time. They are called palm squads, not pom-pom squads. Oh my gosh, it drove me insane, and I don't know why. Just don't call it a pom-pom squad. It's a palm squad. And then on top of that, when Brittany, we know, is captain of the palm squad, and then she gets demoted from her position. I'm sorry. That's not gonna happen. Like... It's understandable if the captain does something outrageously, like, out of character and just out of line, period, and they can be demoted. But being late to a football game is not going to make you demoted. My best friend is captain of my team, and not that she would ever be late to a game, because we all ride the bus there. But if we were to have to drive ourselves there, she would be on our time. But if she were to show up late, she would not be demoted from her position she would be given demerits that she would have to kick off as a punishment or run miles or something like that, but she would not be demoted because she was late one time. That's just, it's not, it's just, I don't know why this is bugging me so bad. Like, that's, that is like the second thing that bugged me the most about this story besides the fact that Brittany was so annoying is the whole pom-pom and demotion and it's just it doesn't make sense guys it really doesn't the writing also in this book was not anything fantastic or to marvel about I have read fan fiction written better than this book but I'm not saying it's absolutely horrible I'm just saying I have read fan fiction that's better than this but there's also a lot of fan fiction that's written worse than this story. So that's something. I feel like this story should have gone through a few more rounds of editing and touching up to make it more, I don't know, like enjoyable. I mean, I did like it. I'm not going to say I didn't like it. I just had a lot of problems with this story. <laughs> I don't know why. And then next thing I know, I'm running out to buy the second book. And guys, let me just tell you, I went through a crap ton of trouble trying to find the second book. And it, it was crazy. I really liked the ending of this book. I thought it was really cute how, you know, Brittany moved up to Colorado to go to school to be close to her sister. And then she hadn't heard from Alex in months because he told her she was just a, a toy in his game and he didn't really love her. And then he really did. And he showed up and he surprised her and they ended up getting married at the end. And they had a baby. And... Yeah, it's just, it was really cute, so I really do plan on finishing the series, so we'll see how that goes. I did end up buying the second and third book. Took me forever to find them, but I found them, and it was a mess. But yeah, so I did enjoy the story, kind of, I mean, I have a bunch of other stories I'd like a lot better than this, but, you know, I just, I'm just a sucker for bad boys. I think the reason I liked this story and Alex is because he's a bad guy and he's tatted up and that's that's just my that's my weakness there guys so. yeah so that is it for this book talk I will see you guys next time with the top five Wednesday book talk or a tag video until then I'm Chrissy goodbye